So, after five very successful runs, let's try Warrior for a change. Let's see if we can accomplish something with this presumably even worse class than before TGD. Okay, the first pick, garbage, a little bit less garbage. And pretty good card. <clears throat> oh, great. That's like a Magma Rager and a bigger Magma Rager. Uh, great. Oh, boy. Ah, Pit Fighter. The five slot gets pretty crowded already. <clears throat> I guess the frothing. Frothing. Magwalker, Shattered Sun. I'm not sure if I can put the Shattered Sun on something, but I got a little bit more laugh after the last Druid run. I guess I have to pick this. The other ones are just too bad. <laughs> Slime, Trog. Both fit the curve very well. well. I, I guess I picked the faster card. I might need it. Uh, against these two. Great. I'll pick an Inner Age. Okay, finally a two drop. Guess it's Imp Master. Wow, these trashy cards. It's insane. Um, I have three three drops already, and I have a Shattered Sun. This makes my early game a little bit better. Like, yeah. I mean, no. Need four drops though. Ah, that's nice. That's what should be it. Yeah. And another two drop, I suppose. I guess one Battle Rage might be good, but I also need some more late game. Let's pick the Frost Elemental. Amani Berserker, Worgen Infiltrator. If three two drops, we're halfway through, so I might pick up another three. It would be alright. Pick the Worgen. Siege Engine looks okay. Upgrade isn't that great because I just have one weapon so far. I really need force. Wow, that's bad. That's bad again. Wow. One mana, two, one. Guess it's better than Death Lord. I don't have executes. Bash, maybe? Okay. I have a good, good amount of fast cards. Kodo is nice, but I really need force. Man. I guess I picked the Moral Strike. Yeah. Um, Gnomish Inventure. Clockwork Knight. How many mechs do I have? I have an Annoyed run. Okay. Also fits the curve. I can just cycle it, I guess. It's okay. <sighs> okay. Even though I... Yeah, well, it's a 2-5, I guess. It won't use my hero power that often, anyways. Uh, Taskmaster... I have the Inner Age already. Probably want to cycle. Uh, that should be clear. Give me fours, man. Guess I pick a five then. Dirt Corsair. An Owl? Yeah, I don't have hard removal, so the silence could be handy. Chow, I guess. Maybe a Rampage. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, that's six, five-ish. It's actually not that many twos, it looks like. And then one, two, three, four, it's not that many threes either. Uh, Earthen should be okay. I also have a few high health minions, I have this guy. There's some merits in healing something. Um, yeah. And a shield maiden, I guess. Well, at least we picked up a few 5-5s, five so that's a 5-5, five five, 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 that's a 5-6, five so I think that's like a break point with attack values, that's nice. Um, it's a little bit more aggressively curved, even though the minions themselves are not really aggressive. So I have a spike on the 5, which isn't that great either. Um, I don't really see myself 
winning with this deck a lot. It's because it doesn't seem apparently strong. I don't really have late game after these two guys. And what's also missing is some kind of hard removal. If I picked up an execute or maybe even a, a crush, it would have been somewhat okay. On the other hand, I have a few fast cards, I have, but low value cards also, like Injured Cavalier, Inner Rage. These are not great value cards. Um, I have two weapons though to make a little bit up for it. The Owl is not really valuable most of the time. On the other hand, I have like faster cards, like a Commanding Shout that can help. Um, a Bash, some Cycling with a Loot Horde and Shield Block. Shattered Sun, two weapons. This basically, this. So. At least I'm not that reactive or it doesn't force me to be proactive, I should say, but in the long run, I'm a little bit hesitant about this. So I will guess, let's be just, make a tame guess and let's say a six. Gerash versus Gerash. Well, we might win the first game. Victory At least a warrior will win this game, that's for sure. Um, I don't think I have enough early game and I have enough three. Yeah, I have enough three drops to um throw this away i think also there's like the chance of getting a chow uh infiltrator or a qualdir how do you even pronounce this qualdir probably um so could have been worth it but it seems like i might end up without any three drops anyways sometimes there is a news but Given that I want to probably play these two cards, it's good to get this on. I mean, I kind of like... Uh, you might play different cards now based on this decision, but... Like I said, I probably want to play these cards. Mm. Changed a little bit. If this was a body, I would have played it, but... I can get a body out this way, and yeah. this threatens like Coin Yeti, for example. Interesting. Chose to keep it. Uh, the problem is now, if he plays the Yeti, I probably play a Lobber and then I have to sacrifice this. So I hope he plays something like Dark Eindorf or Ogre Magi. For the king. <laughs> I don't feel that this is worth a Bomb Lobber, but I don't really have good plays. I mean, I can play this. And he kills this. Yeah. This play protects my inventor. Even though I don't like it that much. I'd say he plays a Spectrum I now. I don't. Or even worse, um, Spiteful Smith. I don't really have answers to that. I could have played this, but it also dies to weapon and. Uh, Weaponsmith would have been nice. Get back, you <laughs> Might be able to smack him down here. <laughs> and he takes two more, then he might take another nine. Might be able to protect my stuff with knowledge. Right? I guess I hope that he doesn't have a whirlwind. Whirlwind would be pretty bad. 
A salty dog might actually help me winning this game. Seems like he wanted to shield slam, kinda. He, he hovered over the armor. Uh, that's good. It's a good sign so far. Crush? Ah, okay. If only seven, nine. Missing a little bit damage here. Out of cards already. Might have been better not to kill the loot hoarder actually. There's nothing that really needs protection. On the other hand, it's basically two damage because these are protected. And inner age guilds two damage, so kind of doesn't matter. Grim patron. Bam. Well, that's almost as bad. Why did he even think about this move? Wow. <laughs> okay. I guess. Wow, that's awesome. What a great turn for him. The trades here, here, then I have the Earthen against and the Imp against his four cards. Whereas I will have one card. Seems like I lost this already. Dark scale healer. <laughs> Great! Hmm. Well, looks like this might be good enough. Even though I don't... Because this might go two for one now. Three for one, even I already killed something with it. Uh. Uh, good thing I just played these. Wow, what a dig. Okay. Two Weaponsmiths, uh, the Reaper. The Yeti. The Crush. As a heart removal that I mentioned earlier that was missing in my deck. Uh. Well, I have a few five fives and five sixes left though, but Aww. <laughs> it would have only been below 12. Could have killed him. Do I have other fast cards that could help me? Bash! Bash is probably the card to go. Or Death Spite. So it's two out of these. I am freed from the curse. Two out of these 13. Anything else? Don't think so. So I need Bash or Death Spide. Bash or Death Spide. Come on. Yes! <laughs> what a game! Totally undeserved win. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, I 
I keep it? I mean, I can coin this out, then protect it, then kill something bigger, or buff this. Looks good to me. Only problem is probably backstab hero power on the Vimani. Never mind, I just kill this. Oryx is likely to go 2 for 1. That's a good start. I wonder if the owl will be helpful. Might be to overcome taunts in the end. But I really hope he doesn't kill the Berserker, because I really want to play the Shattered Sun. But there are a few things that kill it. Backstab, Deadly Poison. Oops, kinda is not it though. It's good. I like it. I could even play this trade and... I actually think I do. I mean, there is no easy way to deal like two damage to two guys if he doesn't play like, I don't know, Ogre Magi prep fan or something. And I saved this combo for the future. And a 6 2 is really threatening, more than a th 3 4. So I need to get rid of it, but he cannot backstab. So I might have to use an eviscerate or something. Wow. <laughs> Interesting, I cannot kill this. That's that's okay, I guess. Good thing with, with this frothing is, if he cannot kill it right now, slam and this, and this, might actually like pump it up to really big heights. If I wouldn't have coined and I could have just code out the 2-6 away, which would have been nice too. Oh, this is really great for me. Good to note that one of his cards is a Lepernome. I can simply Kodo it away. Eviscerate? Aww. Would've been awesome without... Now I need something to play. Uh, it's not quite it. It's not quite it. I guess I will just ignore this. Because otherwise I don't get any minions on the board. I'm kinda ahead on cards. I want to stay ahead until he finds something bad for me. So that's a Kodo. I can use this. I can use this and then I don't know. <clears throat> First kill. I can take the hit. I mean, the coder doesn't really accomplish much because he simply gets this trade in anyways, so. Hey, I <coughs> No 
Oh, this one helps. <clears throat> Actually, if I would have saved the owl, I could have owled this and killed it. I will fight with honor. Guess that's a curve. Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> I mean, I don't. I, I, usually, I don't need the survivability. So, Bash is basically a 3 mana Frostbolt. It's actually worse than a 3 mana Frostbolt because it doesn't freeze. But it's a fast card and. Might be better than other cards. If you just coin Sky, pretty bad. Great. Can only protect it by sliming, so I won't do that. The only good thing about this is that he used the coin, so I'm ahead for the future of this match. Hey! Screw you. Should be better than Colosseum Manager. Just kills both of them. And this way I can definitely do another trade. Don't mess with Tusk. Pretty much de depends on this turn now. Consecration and Trusive are both very bad scenarios for me. Could have played a little bit around it, but I feel I need the value from this Berserker. Because my hand is so bad. <laughs> Got rewarded, that's good. I don't think I want to play this. Um, do you want to slam? Yeah, yeah. It's one more damage also. And this thing might run into this. Which makes the slam... Which gives it the purpose. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Frothing is winning me the game, hopefully. I mean, the best thing is now Fan Creeper or something, and I... Uh, oh no, the 2-5 Taunt Mech. That's okay. I mean, if I do this trade, this goes up by two more, and then I develop the Kodo. Could also just Shield Maid on it, but I don't want this to be buffed. He didn't have fast answers to it during the last turn, so... Let's just push. Well played. The victory is yours. Rather than carrying me, nice. Let the hunt begin. Victory or death. <laughs> Didn't I just toss away a five and a six, and I got a five and a six back? I mean, I don't have this many late game cards. Okay. This works. I wonder why I can't quite remember what I picked the loot hoarder, hoarder over. Hmm. 
This is more aggressive. I don't need to protect something, usually. I mean, he could coin out an eagle horn bow or something. Then the Annoitron is probably better. But then he kills the Chow, and then I play the Annoitron still. It still protects a minion. Well met. Ouch. Hmm. Okay, I guess it's worth trading everything in here. I mean, I just developed a 6 four, 4. And he used the coin, so I'm ahead now. I can use the Neutron to protect it. Looks okay. Oh, this, It hurts so much. I have to use these two. Deadly Shot is a pretty good card. Probably plays a weapon. <laughs> but I have a 5 and a 6. This is not going to be better, huh? At least this lights up. I don't really have the time to bother here. Maybe I should have placed this there. So an explosive shot would just kill these two. Ready, uh. sir. Okay. Interesting. I guess this means I trade this away. I mean that's 10, 11, 14. I can take the hit. I mean I could have bashed this instead. Good draws, Kodo, Death Spide, any weapon. Oh, okay. He's really afraid of dying. Because now I get really good traits here. I mean, otherwise it would have just died to one of these. If he did it on this one, for example, this would be a lot more useless. Wow, this is a desperation move. If I've ever seen one. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't even want to bash something now. Uh, should have played this. Whatever, he didn't explosive shot the last turn, so I guess he doesn't have it. Free trades here, I don't need the bash. It's better if, if, if something like a Yeti appears now, I can use bash and this instead of... Uh, okay. I guess it doesn't get better than this. Oh, that's great. That's pretty awesome, actually. Just clear a hymen with commanding shot, it's good enough. Uh, that's why this card is way better in a in shaman or paladin because then it actually spawns another minion that would be a two one three or a three whatever now um or a two two um let's see seven nine twelve fifteen well I definitely have to deal with these guys um I guess it I do it the most obvious way. Of course. It's ten thirteen. It's not, I'm not quite there, but almost. 
And they still have fast cards like Death Spite or Mortal Strike. Or Fiery War X. I guess I might just bash this then. I fight dirty. This is obvious. Time rewinder. Oh, I could heal this back up. That's a good idea. Keeping the Coda around. But with Coda, I could set up a lethal next turn. If I time rewinder one of these, I cannot do this. I mean, I can always, like, time rewind the Kodo if he plays something small that I want to kill, but his hand has a spare part in a top deck, so it should be alright. Wow. Taunt? Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. Imagine if he could get value, could have gotten value from the Cold Master. This would have definitely put me in a much worse position. It was clearly in my favor that he felt himself in such a bad position that he played very desperately with both his cult master and his um, uh, crazed alchemist. The frothings carried me in two games already, kinda. Or was it just one game? Can't remember the paladin game. I think I wanted to make it big in in the. The Hunter game, but he just deadly shot at it. He shot it deadly. His fast cards are kind of nice, actually. If he plays a 2 3, I might have to slime it. Maybe bash it. No, that's not possible. Okay, so I leave this there and just play the frothing. It's not easy to kill this turn. Um, you can take a 50-50 with a Flame Cannon, I guess. But if he doesn't hit, I have a 3-4. This will be a 4-5, so this will be a growing Yeti. And then I have these cards to react to something else he plays. If he just plays a 3-3, I can just bash it away. Which is also kind of nice. If he just pings my face, I will just buff it up again. And then it probably gets fireballed, but still. Don't mess with Interesting. One, two, three. So this could be a five, four. It's probably not worth it. Unfortunately. What now? I'll keep it around this way. She plays a good 4-drop now. I cannot kill it without using, using the frothing. If he just plays a 4-4, four, four, this would be the dream. Maybe this. Okay, that's good too. He didn't play a Wolf Rider, Armored Warhorse. Um, I'm thinking about like the merits of playing Ooze and Anoichon. He could have Argent Horse Rider though. An Argent Horse Rider like charge ping next turn for five. That's what he might be saving for. So there is a merit in playing the Anoichon. Other than that, I should probably play the Ooze. I'll play the Anoitron. Because the Anoitron, like, if I don't expect him to have exactly this combo, probably, because I think there is no 5 mana charger. 
This can protect both these minions, which is... Yes! <laughs> nice! Uh, this was real. Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, it was exactly this card. It's... Wow. <laughs> okay. I think I could just go face still. I mean, if I had an earthen, maybe not, but. Or another taunt. Yeah, let's just do it this we way. And since I already have a two, I really badly lose two blizzard this way. Whatever. I might just win it the next turn, so. Answer the call of the lights. Ooh. You win. <laughs> nice game. I can only imagine how insane this deck would have been with like two or even three frothings. I have enough three drops I think to keep this. Death Spite is one of my strongest cards in the deck and I have missed it a lot during the last games so I'll keep it. It's probably like... My greeting. It probably won't do anything but... Greeting. He at least has to coin out here power if he wants to kill it now. Or maybe use like the what's it called? This oh. thing would be like a two three now, and then a commanding shout keeping both of these alive to just fill the curve. The living roots. What's the card I refer to? Uh, me something to play, please. Yeah, okay. Well, the loot order will cycle, and the commanding shout will cycle. That's basically the best setup I could get for commanding shout, but it's also a really good death spy turn. I guess I keep this, beca also because Commanding Shout is not on curve. I guess this always dies. I mean, this around for a zero power, and it also dies to swipe. I am freed from the curse. Oh, okay, this makes sense. But it's a good Kodo. I thought about hitting this and hitting here and playing the commanding shot, but the Kodos just obviously way too much value. The light compelled you. I thought about owling this, but given the pit fighter in my hand. He's at 14, this is 8, this is 10. I can overcome like an Iron Buck Protector or Druid of the Claw with the Owl. He didn't seem to have Swipe. And I can even take the, something big out here with Commanding Shout. That's mm. 8, that's 9, that's 11. Go for it. This looks like a Savage Raw setup though. So many ways to play this turn. Could silence this. Hit here, hit here, inner rage one so that he doesn't have any any board. 
Play the Colosseum Manager, for example. What now? Loses two Starfall, but... And I lose my, my taunt clearing thing. I could also just stupidly go face. Uh, I feel like this is a Savage Raw setup. I don't like it. No! Shit! Whoops. Wrong order. Played around mind control tech. <laughs> well played. Uh, thanks. Eight, ten, eleven. Oh no. They are no. Shit. Well, at least he takes the damage. Or at least a little bit. That's five. I could make the commanding shout here. Like this is five, it's six. I could put him down to five. Play this. He kinda has to trade. Kinda. I mean that's exactly eight. Lines up pretty well. We must cleanse the sun well. <laughs> Could have put him down to three if I didn't mess up with the Colosseum manager. It's not a taunt. Well played. It's not a taunt. I can see. But I could have taken out a Ironbug Protector. 